looking forward to this one tonight. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Rochester's got it behind the net. Handles the pass on the right side. And that's a great hits up in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Gonzalez. Syracuse is across the line and on the attack. And he had an answer with that save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Richards wins the defensive zone faceoff. Scoops up the puck now. Sends it over to Richards. Into the offensive end right up the middle. And the puck is scooped up here into the open ice by Myers. Turned aside with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Roberts got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Snags with the glove by Jakarski. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Syracuse wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, an even better save! Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Takes a shot! Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And somehow he hangs on. Scores! And this place is rocking and rolling now. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said in the pregame speech, James, but it certainly worked. They came out ready to play. I like that the shooter had the mentality just shoot it right away on the inside of the post, just recognizing that there was enough of an opening, and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. Rochester's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James, and that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the forecheck, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Looking to set up offensively. With the blast, and scores! And look at that, the rookie gets hit on the playoff scoring. And I'll talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. That's a beautiful goal. How about the pass, too? Distributed perfectly for him to be able to one-time that puck and just powder it. But it goes off the post. He was lucky that that found the back of the net. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Rochester's won it. Moves it to Piro.
The Americans take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or you look for the continued push attack? Uh, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Rochester's game possession along the boards. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Let's see what the officials are calling. Oh, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. Syracuse gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Puck is dropped and wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Syracuse jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Too much congestion in front. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they put it off the glass and out. Now the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you got to get it on your stick and off your stick quick. As you know, the power play unit is going to be coming. This is done perfectly. Rochester's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Richards is almost back in the play. The Americans preserve the lead as their penalty killers get the job done. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Quick feed to Davies. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes up, come on. Grabbed along the board by Yonsko. Comes up with the stop. Roberts moving it ahead. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Denies him! He got all of it! And the puck's knocked loose. Intercepted at center by Robert. Syracuse has been connected all night long defensively. From a structure standpoint, they are doing everything to interfere pucks, intercept, and takeaways. This is leading to offense, but they got to convert as this game is still close. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Kozak's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, let's get the official decision. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal, you're trying to fight to get back in this game and now you find yourself shorthanded. our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. They move the puck out of harm's way. Across the line from center. Poked away by Wolcott. Shot! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Johnson for the puck and it's knocked away. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Great pass from off the right side. And he scores! And the kid comes up clutch to the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battling to compete for it. He does it, and he buries it. Rochester's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. The Americans have the puck in the corner. Moves it quickly over to Birch. And that's deflected. Great puck by Birch. Handles the pass. And that's a 
great defensive heads up to force the turnover. And he takes the feed. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Shot! Oh, going wide! Dumont's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Across the line. Great read with the stick. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Getting into the later stages of this period, the Americans have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Puck scooped up by Myers. Sachoni's taking it from his own end. Break away! and get across to make that save. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Finley's won the draw inside his own end. Big pass feed. Syracuse on the attack. Here's a short pass to Stevens. Hammers it off the crossbar. What a shot! Harrell's had a tough time around the net tonight, James. It's hitting the bar. He's got to find a way to cash in, you know, with his hands. At some point, if he gets the opportunity, he's going to put it in. Syracuse has it in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Fortier. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Takes it and looks ahead. Quick shot. Oh, spectacular save on the play. Man, James, it shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Grabs control of it at the point. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. And he can't find the net. Oh, man, like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's, it's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count as the whistle goes before the puck went in. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Syracuse plays it along the wing. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the call is. The crunch have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Surprised to see the 1 3 1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. And that turns off a body in traffic and manages to clear the zone. Quick pass to Proud. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Crunch have gained possession under man. Sends it quickly to Burt. Looking to make something happen along the boards. A chance on goal. That goes on the twig. They stripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Americans will lose a man tripping the call. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. 
And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. That opportunity is rejected. Tokarski's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Trying to get it out of their own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly, and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty handle on that one. Tukarski's going to hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, part of their mental preparation as a goaltender, even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and makes a nice cover. Roberts won the draw, now look to set up. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. Now a quick pass to Robert. Away. The crunch have the puck against the boards. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Here's a pass. Shot. And that's blocked in front. Moves to the middle. Scores! His first of the playoffs. And the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. But you got to give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Crunch have jumped right back into this one after that goal. Yeah, they've been very effective in the offensive zone, opening up lanes and making sure that it gets through to the net. And they cash in on that one and get within one. Quick feed to Satroni. Knocked away. Takes the feed from his own end. And play continues as that goes off the glove. Tukarski's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Syracuse has had a lot of good looks offensively, but they continue to trail on the second. Alarm's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Tukarski's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Syracuse still needs one more goal in order to even things up. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Richards grabs the puck inside his own territory. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Myers. And he takes the dish. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. And that's off target as it hits a body. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. He got on that one. Turn that one aside. Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Slides it diagonally to Kozak. The Americans carry the left wall. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Came up with the save on that play. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. The Americans move it in. Puts it on net. And he was ready for that one. Dumont's moving the puck through his own zone. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Shot. Fantastic save. Handles it along the blue line. And that's knocked away by Dave. That makes the save. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Syracuse gains a hold of it. Pushes it across to Wolcott. Into the offensive zone. Puck grab by Biro. Trying to shake the defender. He scores! Great play from Star 
work to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. Rochester's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Moves it to Fortier. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The crunch have possession along the boards. Great chance and an even better save. Centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Joe's close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had and the play dies. Here's a pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. The Americans gain control of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Fires it. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those great A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Rochester's got possession at center. Oh, he'll feel that one. Oh, look at this chance. Here's the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, it denies him with the paddle save. Myers takes the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a short pass to Edmonds. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes the save. Syracuse has created a lot of opportunities offensively, but they continue to trail here late in the second. Takes the pass to the offensive zone. Scores! And look at this. Here we go. They have answered back. Well, they've responded exactly the way the coach and team wanted to be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. Syracuse gets exactly what they needed. A goal here late in period number two. Let's see where it goes from here now, Cheryl. That should put some wind in their sails, James, as they attempt this comeback and look for the equalizer now. But I like the way they've played this last sequence. Very aggressive on the puck, using their body and physically engaging. Grabs the puck. Back to the point it goes. And that one goes up and over. He had more time than he thought. He needed to be a little bit more accurate than hard on it. But, man, that bottom hand pushed down so hard, he nearly snapped it in half. Slick feed. Edmonds looks around. Picks up the puck. Let's it go! And that goes off the player in front. Back at the point, they set it up. Snaps one from the slot. Tarski's going to hang on for a whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Syracuse is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, what a save on the play! Uh, such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Syracuse has had no shortage of offensive opportunities, but they have run into a hot goalie tonight. Dumont's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot, and there's the save on the play. Syracuse moves it ahead. Grabs the puck. Receives the pass. Sends it in on the attack. And he keeps possession. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. 
takes the feed. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Can't get it to go. Takes the feed from the left side. To the low slot. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And there's the horn, bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Zone. Now it's about having urgency around the net. And when you're looking to shoot, you're looking to bury it. Gonsalves has the puck against the half wall. Puck in Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie. And that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Roberts won the draw. Takes it across the blue line. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Richards. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Handles the puck. Roberts got it along the wing. Takes a shot. And he turned that one aside. Slides it over with pace to Crow. And it's a quick pass to Richards. Slides the pass over to Clegg. And they keep the pressure on. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. There's another stop. And he slides it quickly to Clay. Puts another on the net. Denies him. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Jost. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Robert's been nabbed for tripping. once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Rochester's got the puck. Great reach by Gonsalves. Takes a shot. Nothing doing. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Comes up with a stop. And that's poked away by Jost. Takes it into the slot. Oh, 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 that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. The crunch have the puck while under man. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. The Americans squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. Another power play opportunity coming up here. 
can't get frustrated with their power play, stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Puck picked up by Myers. Tukarski's got the puck and he's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. The guy between the crease, he elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Syracuse takes possession off the face-off. Oh, what a play to give up the body on the block. Nice job to escape the zone. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Richardson Company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Rochester's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Quick pass to Dumont. Syracuse plays the puck along the boards. The Americans will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Slides the puck over. Davies' penalty has almost expired. Right in front with the shot! Davies gets a boost from the penalty killers. He's out of the box. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. Here's a chance in front! And it goes off the side of the cage. Myers plays it now. And that pass goes off a stick. to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do and in the interim he ran out of space still lots of time left in the period we got a tie game a large quick stick off the draw wins possession sends a pass over a large gonna play it against the half wall turns it aside with the glove goaltender hangs on for the whistle Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. for the puck, but still moves away. And not much on that one. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. That's not going to fool him. Dishes it to Edmonds. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends the pass over. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dukowski. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. While we have a moment, let's send it down ringside with our own Carlin Bays. Yost had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. And he lays out to block that one. The Bruins are showing a real commitment to team defense. They're getting in shot lanes, blocking them all over the ice, and pushing to the perimeter. You know the coach will be happy. This is something they discussed prior to the game. Inside the offensive zone. Congress hit on the play. Bone crushing, and guess what? There's gonna be a stoppage in play, James, because that broke the pane of glass. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Americans take possession off the faceoff. And now he angles it across to Murray. Hooked away and forces the turnover at center. Picked up along the boards by Stillman. Quick feed to Yacht. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Great reach with the poke check. Moves it to Murray. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Syracuse looks to move the puck from their own end. Takes the feed. Moves the puck. 
Quick feed down low. And that's intercepted by Stillman. The Crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. Fires it on net. Terrible on the hook kick and it pays off. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Syracuse looks to get things going now with the puck. The Crunch have the puck on the attack. Nice zone entry from the middle. He grabs the puck here on the floor. Back in a Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Blocked aside. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Takes the pass. Body on body, weight distributed right in there. Center and feed, and that's off target. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Through center. The Americans take it from the side. Here's a chance. Oh, it goes right up the post. The Bruins are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately they hit the pipe again. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Syracuse plays it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Murray. The Americans played along the board. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Now it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Americans now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Play rolls on. The Americans gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Biro. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And he gets in front of that. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. A critical draw here. Syracuse has taken possession off the draw on their own end. Pass to Stevens. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off with body and arrive. Here he is shot in sight. Answered the call in that play. Through center along the wing. Not open net. And it misses. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Now up 2 nothing in the series. Cheryl, how do you assess the performance so far? Well, I think it's been excellent. You come into a series, you got to find ways to get wins, and they've done just that. They've had good habits, they've had good structure. And to be truthful, I mean, the opponent's been chasing the game. She's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See you.